Brakatayahawa, Brakatayahawa Shai, Brakatayahawa, Brakatayahawa Shai, Brakatayahawa, Brakatayahawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. The Thamash Nakabala is a common show, Sharali, get double honors to the elders of Israel, being the apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom, Wahab, Labach, Yahshua, Sharali, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at you again with another lesson, Baharu Chachorah Shah Amaf and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And um, this is going to be a quick lesson. Uh, I don't want to write this out through the Spirit. I just got off the plantation. Um, I was just going to go inside and do it, but uh, I ain't want to waste no time. And I don't want to make this too long and drawn out anyways. But um, this is, uh, I was just watching a video from my big brother out there in Chicago. His name is Arala. And the uh, title of the video was um the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. All right. And um we gotta understand that in this walk of ours, it's not gonna be all peaches and cream. Okay, uh matter of fact in Sirach the second chapter, my favorite chapter it says, um, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare your soul for temptation. All right, so this 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 walk of ours is about uh like the Apostle Kabar always says it's about suffering, man. It's about being tried, it's about going through different things. And the different things that we go through build us up. It builds our inner man. It builds our spirit, man. And certain things that we go through, it's like um, it almost seems to be unbearable. All right. At the time, it says in the book of Hebrews, um, no chastisement of the present time is joyous, but grievous. But after it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness. So while we sitting in that fire, of course, it's uncomfortable as we sitting in that fire. Of course, it's not it's not it's not joyful. Right. It's not pleasant. But the Lord said, but it says in the book of Romans, we can do um, no through Yahweh Shai Mashiach. I am more than conquerors. Uh, this is Romans chapter eight. Romans chapter eight and verse. I'm going to get straight to the point. This is Romans 8 and verse... I'll start at verse 33. It says, Who shall lay anything to the charge of Yahweh's elect? It is Yahweh that justifieth it. So, the elect is going to overcome. The elect is going to overcome anything, man. You know, no matter how... The, the brother used the word grim, right? You may be in a certain situation and it's, and it's grim, Right? And, and and it's just way it's just been weighing on you heavy for for weeks or even months all right you just been you just been battling okay and through the lord it, Lord, I don't want to say we be at elect we're going to conquer that eventually we're going to conquer whatever it's going to be man or whatever whatever is faced in front of us placed in front of us whatever we are faced with salakia it says who is he that condemneth? It is Mashiach Yahweh Shai that died. Yea, rather, that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of Yahweh, who also maketh intercession for us? So we always we always got to keep in mind as well that the Lord can do anything and never to limit him. All right, he got pissed off. Uh, there's a scripture in the book of Psalms. All right, it, uh, it goes in on how the the um, Jake in the wilderness was limiting the Lord, and that was that was pissing him off, man. He's omnipotent, all right? Which is all powerful. I don't have my other phone to look that up, but um I don't want to write this out. Someone can put it in the comment board. Um just look up limit. It's somewhere in Psalms. Right? They limited Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai. Because I'm gonna premiere this. So as it's premiering, uh if someone else don't do it, I don't want to write this out, I'll do it. But anyways, back in that Romans chapter 8 in verse. 35, who shall separate us from the love of Mashiach Yahweh Shai? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. So whatever is placed in front of us, we can conquer it through Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Whatever is placed in front of us, 
we can overcome it. We shall overcome it. All right. I don't want to say if we are of the elect, ain't nothing. There's nothing that can separate us from the Lord. There's nothing that can stop us from serving him. OK. There's nothing that can stop us from having faith in him. Not. Well, I'm going to just continue to read. It says. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. Okay, the things that we're going through now, right? That seem grim. That's that that's that's just been weighing you down. Okay, that's been messing with you and, and on on on, on it's like it in all aspects on all fronts. All right, physically, mentally, spiritually, you feel like you've been fighting for your life. Right. We are going to conquer that through Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and the things that's to come like the MOTB. Right. Losing our job, losing our living situation, having to be pilgrims on this earth. OK, this devil coming and, and, and uh, targeting us, literally trying to, to to slaughter us, to kill us, to murder us. OK, we're going to conquer that as well through Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. OK. It says, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. It's like it from the love of Yahweh, which is in Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, our Lord. So nothing, nothing can stop us, man. This is the mentality that we have to have, even when, especially, especially when times are hard, especially when we're going through, when we're going through things, that's when our faith has to be shown. That's when faith is shown, period, man. Okay. Abraham had to show his faith by what? By passing that test, by going through that temptation. Job had to show his faith by what? Enduring those tribulations. Okay, faith isn't shown by because you put a shirt on and it says faith, right? That's not how you show your faith. You put it in your in your social media bio or whatever. Faith is shown in adversity. Okay? Oh, oh in the Psalms, I believe it was King David, Psalms 116. It says, He he said, I believe. The psalmist said, I believe, therefore have I spoken and was greatly afflicted. Because that faith got to be tested. That faith got to be tried. It sounds good. Yeah, I believe. Kwam Yasharala. Khan, bring it out. That sounds great. Okay? But we have to keep that same energy when we're at our lowest. Okay? When we're catching hell from all angles, just like Job. It says in the book of Job. Matter of fact, we keep speaking of Job. This is Job chapter 13. Job chapter 13 and verse 15. It says, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. But I will maintain my own ways before him. He also shall be my salvation. Look, though he's look, uh, the Lord is punishing me right now. The Lord is taking me through certain things right now. I may not fully understand why. Right. Or the intricate. It said, he said that my ways is not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. We're not going to understand certain situations that we find ourselves in. OK. We're not going to understand what the Lord we're not going to understand every time why the Lord has us has us in certain situations, but we have to what we have to maintain our ways before him, man. I mean, we got to continue to serve him and we have to keep our integrity regardless of how bad it hurts, because I know it hurts. It's supposed to hurt. OK. It's supposed to hurt. Suffering. Right. It says um, all that live God. Let me just get it. This is the book of. Second Timothy chapter three and verse. Hmm. Yep. 
2 Timothy 3 and 12. Yea, and all that live godly in Mashiach Yahweh Shai shall suffer persecution. All right, so certain times you're going through certain, you, you, certain times you're going through things and, and, and you may get the thoughts, Satan may put thoughts in your head. You're going through this because you're wicked. You're going through this because the Lord's rejecting your ass. The Lord's getting rid of you. Satan will put them thoughts into your head, man. But the script, but we need to remember these scriptures, man. We need to remember the precepts. All that live godly shall suffer. Okay? Shall suffer persecution. The Lord said the servant is not greater than his master. Yahweh Shai was a man acquainted with griefs. We have entered into his crucif crucifixion. Okay? So we so so we're living that same type of life, acquainted with Greeks, a life of suffering. Okay? And that's all leading to our perfection. Right? Like we quoted earlier in Hebrews, after it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness. Let me read this real quick. This is first Timothy, so like your first Peter 4 and 1. For as much then as Mashiach Yahweh Shai have suffered for us in the flesh. Arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. He suffered for us in the flesh and he didn't quit. He didn't give up. Even though he got weak, even though he wanted a different way out. He went to the father and said, he went to the father and said, is there any other way? Right? And he said, nevertheless, let thy will be done. So he, Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith, the captain of our salvation. He got weak, man. We gonna get weak in this uh, 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 in this walk of ours. Meaning we gonna we gonna we gonna be brought low. He said the spirit is indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Okay. Pray, watch, and pray that ye enter not into temptation. That's all. That's all one verse in Matthew twenty six. Right out of our Lord's mouth himself. That's what's going to keep us from falling in temptation. That's what's going to keep uh, keep uh, us from falling victim to our weak flesh and allow our spirit to, uh, uh, to get the victory by constantly watching. Right. Maintaining our ways before the Lord and, and, and praying up in that uh, um, prayer count up, man. OK. It says, for as much then as Mashiach Yahweh Shai suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves, or to arm yourself, man. Put on the whole armor, right? This is how we're going to war a good warfare. Arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that has suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. That he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh. To the lust of men, but to the will of Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai. So certain things we go through is to get us right back on track. Okay, okay, you you a little bit too comfortable. You a little bit too comfortable. All right, let me shake you up a little bit and make your mind more serious about the times that we're living. This this is what the Lord you know puts us through certain simulations as, as such. All right. To show us certain things in our lives. Alright. To, 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 to humble us. Right. And, and any other reason that you can think of. It says that he, he, he does it for our good. Right. That's also in Hebrews the 12th chapter. Alright. It says. I sit on that. Back in Job 13 and 15, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him, but I will maintain my own ways before him. He also shall be my salvation for an hypocrite shall not come before him. He's going he's going to save me, man. Yeah, I've been praying for weeks. Yeah, I've been praying for one for months and, and I and I have not uh, seen a way out yet. OK. But I'm going to continue to pray. That's maintaining our ways before him. I'm going to continue to call on him. I'm going to continue to praise him. I'm going to continue to do these videos. I don't want to, I don't want to, this is the mentality. This is how we arm ourselves. This is what the mentality we should be arming ourselves with. I don't want to, 
Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, willing. I continue to take my ass out there, no matter how fucked up I am. I'm going to continue to take my ass out there and, on, on them highways and byways. Even if I got to wipe my tears before I get out the car. Right? Maintaining our ways before him. And he's going to bring us salvation. Just like he did with Job. All right? Let me go from there to the book of Micah and I'm going I'm to I'm start wrapping it up. Now, is it Micah or Malachi? This is Micah chapter 7 and verse 9. I will bear the indignation of the Lord. Indignation is what? Righteous wrath. Okay? It, the scriptures say that all the judgments of the Lord are just, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, so anything that we go through, we deserve it. Matter of fact, we deserve more. We have to keep that in mind. We are punished less than our iniquities deserve. We can't never get in a mentality of, man, I don't fucking deserve to go through this. All right. Not for face value, you've been doing what you're supposed to do. You've been reading, you've been praying, you've been fasting, right? You've been doing your videos, you've been going to the camp, you've been doing what you're supposed to be uh, supposed to be doing, all right? But the Lord got to get you for something else that you've done, right? King David talked about, um, have mercy upon me for secret sins, right? Roughly paraphrasing Psalms 51, pretty much things that he 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 was unaware of. Um, yeah, this Psalms 51 is just powerful. So, um, uh, Salakia, bear with me. I'm about to read the whole chapter, but I'm looking for, um, particular scripture pretty much is it said uh forgive me thoroughly from iniquity because of me for my sin I acknowledge my transgressions and I said it against the young man I mean I might as well read out loud I'm gonna just read out loud I believe it's in here if not I'll, I'll just move on but this is Psalms chapter 51 and verse 5 it says behold I was shaping in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts. And in the hidden part, thou shalt make me to know wisdom. All right. The, the, the works that we are doing is the Lord making us do those works. OK. He's putting the spirit on us to pray. He's putting the spirit on us to fast. He's putting the spirit on us to, to do these lessons, to read, so on and so forth. All right. It's him. It says, purge me with hyssop. And I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence. And take not thy Holy Spirit from me. And we got to make sure that we, that, that prayer is on a, a repeat, man. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Uh, I mean, I, I, the whole chapter is beautiful. I was looking for a certain point, but it must not be in this chapter. But that Psalms is, is great, man. The Psalms is, hey, the Psalms, you going catching extra hell. You're going to catch hell regardless, man. You start catching that extra hell, man. We got to make sure we get into the Psalms. All right. That's uh, probiotics. It's good for your body, man. 
All right. This is back in Psalms chapter seven, it's like in Micah chapter seven and verse nine. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him. I messed up. I messed up regardless if I don't un if I don't see what, what I did. Right. In this particular moment, there's something there's something that I'm worried to be judged up. There's something that's making me worthy to go through what I'm going through. All right. It says until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me, he's going to get us out that situation. The Lord is faithful who will not suffer us to be burdened above that which we are able, but will with the temptation make a way of escape. Roughly paraphrasing, I believe it's first Corinthians to 10 chapter. He will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. All right. Let's be stronger than our, what's the word? Um, let's be stronger than the affliction that we go through, man. Let's continue to overcome these obstacles. The end is right around the corner. It's no time for quitting. It's no time for getting weak. We dealing, we dealing with, you know, a lot of, and I say we because I know the whole body is going through it. All right. It's not just you thinking not strange. Sometimes you think it's yourself. You see other brothers, they, you know, everybody seems straight. You know what I'm saying? But you over here, you fucking feel like you about to go back to the spiritual realm and shit. No, everybody's going through it, man. I can tell by certain lessons that's being done from all across the map. We all going through it. Dealing with things that that, that that's taking our faith to the, that's uh, uh, either going to make us or break us, man. I, I know if we get through it. Our faith is going to be on a whole nother level like the sands. All right. The brothers, you know, the brothers that know Dragon Ball Z, the sands, a warrior race. All right. The real the real warrior race is the Israelites, man. The princes of the power, the sons of God. It says that the Lord is a man of war as his sons. We ought to be man's, men of man's of war as well. We ought, we ought to be men of war as well. He said, fight the good fight of faith. Right. Lay hold on to eternal life. So let's just continue to fight, man. I got one more precept. Like I said, I didn't want to make it too drawn out. This Philippians chapter four and verse. Philippians chapter four and verse. Um, Start at verse 11. Philippians 4 and 11, it says, Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. So there's there's gonna be ups and downs in this truth. I might even I might even name it that, man. This truth is like a roller coaster ride, man. All right, you're gonna have ups, you're gonna have downs. Really, you're gonna have more downs than you have ups. Right? And we got to know how to deal with it. Okay. It says, I know both how to be abased and I know how to bound. And this isn't just talking about, I mean, Paul was speaking about, you know, um, financial things. Right. But it's beyond that. Okay. Right. Verse 10, it says, but I rejoiced in the Lord greatly that now at the at the last your care of me have flourished again, wherein ye were also careful, but ye lacked opportunity. So, you know, uh, like Paul said in Corinthians, he said that uh, the, the ox is worthy of his. Uh, no, he's quoting the law. Muzzle not the ox that treadeth in the corn. You, you're supposed to take care of the men that's teaching you. All right. The, the men that's teaching us, they deserve they're giving us all these spiritual gifts. They de they deserve uh, um, uh, some carnal gifts, man. All right, which is it goes all back to the law anyway, right? You 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 pay the priests, you pay your tithes. All right, but anyways, this applies in every aspect, financially. All right, your health. Okay, what anything you can think of, man. It's gonna be ups and downs. You're going to abound. You're going to abase. The Lord giveth. He taketh away. 
right? It says, I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound. Verse 12, everywhere, everywhere and in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Mashiach Yahweh Shai, which strengtheneth me. Uh, like the brother uh, Yakal say about the scripture. Don't let the Christians hijack that, man. This is for us. That's the emergency kit precept right there. When you're feeling low, when you're feeling, when you're feeling again, like there's no way out. Like you, like you about to just collapse, like you about to faint. Okay. I can do all things through Yahweh Shai Mashiach that strengtheneth me. All right. So having that said, Lord willing, I was edifying, uplifting, exhorting. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Chodash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Racha Chodash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. Of Israel, being the apostles, and the elders a great millstone that rule well. Which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom best keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draw off nigh, and redemption is near than we believe. Shalom.